Hello everybody, I'm Claudia and this is Patchwork with Claudia. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful pattern that the name is Shoe Fly. To work on it, we need to cut five squares of four and a half inches and two squares of five inches to make the corner block. So let's see it. Here I already cut my fabric with the blocks in the corners we are going to make the high squares. So to do that we need to on the wrong side of the fabric draw a line and then from that line we need to draw another line on each side that is half inch on those lines is where we are going to sew to do that one we put together these two and then sew and then when we open we get our pattern so let's do it so here we are already Marking our fabric where we are going to sew. And if we wanted to mark the line in the middle, it's okay. On this line is where we are going to cut. So here on the other side, we do the same with the other square. I choose to draw my lines on the lighter fabric so I can see better when I am stitching it. So here I already have my lines so I am going to so on this line and so on this line and in the middle one is where I'm going to cut. So to do that one I put both fabrics together, I align well, I can help myself with a pin and then we sew here and sew there and we cut here in the middle. After we sew is when we get the pattern like that so let's sew so here I am ready to sew so from the center line to the side lines there is a quarter of inch so let's do it I help myself with pins so the fabric is more stable while I'm sewing so let's start it Remove the thread. So here it is so we can see better on the other side. Now we could 
on the side. You can see we put here in the middle line and then we press. So here we could. And then our corner sides of our block are ready. So we could have a triangle when we open, we have a square, half square. So now we press the seam to the darker fabric and then we know that we will have this little leftover. So we could, we need to make sure that uh, this block is four and a half inches. If it's a little over, we trim to have a better assembled block. So here we press our seam to the dark fabric and we can see now how the corner part of the block is turning. So we have this part ready. So let's go to confirm that each part, each block is four and a half inches. If it's a little over, we trim it. So we're going to verify that each block has the measurements that we needed. That is four and a half. And we are going to trim whatever is left over. That is not really much. But with help a lot, when we assemble our block. It's not that much. Let's continue with the second one. I work with this block in three different colors, but if you would like, you can do it only with two colors. Anyway, it turns very pretty. There is mass easier to work this block this way than cutting the triangles and sewing them. I found it more easier doing it this way. I even do not remember cutting triangles anymore. We cut the squares and made with the squares made the triangles. So as you can see it here, our block is ready to continue the assembly. So let's do it.
Now that the all sizes of the block measure four and a half, we are ready to start sewing here, here, then in the middle here and here, and the last one here and here. When we complete all these three, then we can sew here and here. So let's start sewing again. So we are ready to start putting our block together. So let's do it. So we sew a quarter of inch and let's start. So here we already have two sides of each row together. We remove the leftover thread. So we have already two sides here. So let's put the other side. We need to make sure that we don't twist, at least in the in the bottom and in the upper side of the block that we don't twist the corner block. We need to make sure so it aligns perfectly and is on the right side. Like a, what I mean is like a, don't do this way or don't do this way. We know that go this way. Okay, so uh, we are already halfway. So let's see how it's turning on. So here it is. So what I'm talking before is that we need to make sure that we don't twist the bottom of the upper part like this way. In this case, we know that it's this way. So now we are going to press the seams and sew now this twice. So here we are ready to press. And go to the other side. Then here we are ready to press. side also. You notice that here you twisted a little bit so and then the final one. The other side so then we are ready 
for together here and here to sew. So let's do it. So here before I start sewing, I need to make sure that my seams match. So I help with my fingers, try to find that the seams match. And to get them as precise as possible, I help myself with some pins. See that my block match. And then I sew a quarter of inch. Organize my fabric. And when the, the pin is getting closer to the needle, I remove it. Same for the other side. Organize my fabric here at the end. Put the thread, remove the leftover thread here on the other side, open this side and we are this way now and then we need to sew the last one row and our block will be done. So again I have to get my seams together I help with a pin to see that the blocks match also I help with my pins and then let's sew our last part of the block Organize the fabric here at the end to see that it match. And our block is done. Remove the thread. And we can see here that it pretty much matches in the corners so we can see better when we iron it so let's do it let's see let's iron to see how our block is Now that it is iron, we can see better how our corners match in all four sides. Okay. 
The ending block is 12 and a half inches. I hope you practice it. Uh, give me thumbs up if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want it, you can research in my channel for these tutorials that I made also in Spanish. So see you next time. This is Patchwork with Claudia. Bye.